For decades, scientists have been trying to solve one of nature's most baffling mysteries. Where does the water go? In Minnesota, there's a waterfall that splits in two. One half flows normally into the river below. The other half, it pours into a hole in the rock and disappears. No one knows where it goes. They've tried dye tests, ping pong balls, even GPS trackers. Nothing has ever come back out. The Devil's Kettle is located in Judge C.R. Magny State Park along the Brule River in northern Minnesota. When the river reaches the waterfall, it splits around a massive piece of volcanic rock. The eastern flow drops 50 feet into a normal pool, but the western flow plunges into a pothole. A smooth carved hole in the rock hand vanishes completely. For over a century, people have been obsessed with finding out where this water goes. In the 1960s, researchers poured green dye into the kettle. They searched every stream, pond, and lake in the area. The dye never surfaced. They dropped ping pong balls, hundreds of them thinking they'd pop up somewhere downstream. Not a single one was ever found. But here's what makes people skeptical. The Brule River carries about 123 cubic feet of water per second at the falls. When measured downstream, the volume matched almost exactly. If the water is rejoining, it's doing so perfectly. No overflow, no pressure buildup, no visible outlets. Some geologists argue the underground channel theory doesn't fully add up. The rock formation shouldn't allow a passage large enough to handle that much water without creating problems. So what's really happening? The most likely explanation is that there is an underground channel and objects disappear because the kettle acts like a natural blender. But the exact pathway has never been confirmed because it's too dangerous to explore.